more fun with your 22 rifle a handbook of new and interesting shooting sports from the pioneer days of the early west to the present time the lure of rifle shooting has had a special appeal to Americans of all ages. Shooting with a 22 rifle can be lots of fun, whether you live in a crowded city district or in the wide open spaces. Even the time of year makes little difference. This booklet tells you how you can join the ever increasing number of target shooters and game hunters. Find real shooting fun that you and your family and friends will always remember and enjoy. Types of 22 rifles. Bolt action. Lever action. Self loading. Slide action. Types of 22 caliber ammunition. 22 short for plinking. 22 long for short range shooting, 22 long rifle for small game, 22 hollow point, extra power for pests, 22 match for competition, 22 gallery loads for safe indoor shooting, 22 long rifle shot for small pests and game, 22 blank for timing athletic events. What not to shoot? A proper target with a printed bullseye is the best known rifle target. For most people like to see something happen when they hit a target, have it move or break. Breakable targets can be readily made by sawing a piece of 2x2 two two lumber into 2 inch lengths and they really bust when smacked by a modern 22 bullet. There is never a doubt as to whether or not you hit them. But if you don't want to bother making blocks and prefer a ready-made target, your ammunition dealer can supply bustable bullseyes. These little black discs are similar to the clay pigeons used for trap and skeet shooting. They are sold in boxes of 100. They are inexpensive, easy to handle, and convenient for hanging on a board or paper target. And as they are very brittle, they will break even if the bullet only nicks them. Cross shooting match. One of the oldest and most popular novelty targets is made by marking a fine line cross on a piece of cardboard or paper. Hang this paper in front of the backstop and you are ready to go. The first shooter loads and fires one shot at the paper. Someone who is not taking part in the match should go to the target and put the shooter's initials near that hole and then returns to the firing line. The next shooter will then fire one shot at the paper, and so on, until all who have entered have fired their shot and their initials have been recorded near the hole. Any number of shooters can participate in this match. The scoring is easy. The winning shot is the one nearest the intersection of the cross. Novelty Targets Almost every group of rifle shooters will have some hot shots who will do most of the winning when skill is all that counts. But beginners and less experienced shooters have a chance for the top prize in matches that make use of luck. This can be done by using novelty targets, which have a scoring area invisible to the shooter, so that its location is unknown to him. If he can hit the target at all, he has just as much chance to win as anybody else, because the shot that is in or nearest the unknown scoring area wins the match. The simplest way to make this kind of target is to hang a regular target with the back of the sheet towards the shooter, or to cut out the bullseye from one target and paste them on the back of another, so their exact location is unknown. Shooting Positions You can shoot a rifle from a number of different positions. Four of these have become standard. The standing position, kneeling, sitting, and prone. The prone position gives you the most support and is the most accurate and is used in most target shooting matches. 
Most game shooting, of course, is done from the standing position because you don't have any time for any of the others. The sitting and kneeling positions are compromises between the two since they give more steady hold than the standing position but take more time to get in. You want to be familiar with all four positions not only to improve your skill as an all-around rifle shot but also to win your spurs as a ranger by successfully completing the ranger course of rifle shooting. Illustrations below show sketches of the four approved positions. You will quickly become accustomed to assuming the different approved positions. Remember that shooting, like any sport, requires complete relaxation. You have to be at ease because tightening of the muscles of any part of the body is fatal to both speed and accuracy in shooting a rifle. The standing position. Note the sling is not used. Prone position. The steadiest of all positions. Use this position for aiming and squeezing practice. Sitting position. Be sure your elbows are set so they will not slip off your knees. Kneeling position. Note that shooter is sitting on the back of right heel. A safe place to shoot. Take a tip from the manufacturers and operators of commercial shooting galleries who know all the target preferences of their customers. Start right by finding a location that is absolutely safe for rapid fire shooting at moving or breakable targets. Your choice of a shooting location must be confined to an area affording an adequate backstop in addition to high hills and the cut banks of streams and abandoned roads other choices will be old rock quarries strip pits left by shallow mining operations and similar man-made elevations or depressions but you'll have to be careful of these man-made backstops they are liable to contain rocks shale slate or other hard objects that will cause ricochets Gee, it's a swell day for target practice, Dad. Can't wait to try my new 22. Well, you have to restrain yourself, son, until we find a safe place for practice. Let's put some bottles on the lake, Dad, and see how many we can knock off. No, that's out, son. Lakes and rivers are public waters, and shooting on them is subject to regulation. Besides, water often causes ricochets, and we don't want to hurt anyone. How about this spot, Dad? There's a good bank to shoot against that will stop bullets. I'm afraid not. You see, there are too many rocks and that means more ricochets. Now, here is an ideal location. This hill is a good backstop. Without any rocks, we have clear vision all around us. Swell, Dad. I'll go back and get the boys in the club, the lumber and tools, and we'll set up our range in no time. A target frame is simple to put up. All we need is a couple of posts set in the ground and a wooden framework on which to hang our targets. Here's our completed target frame. Now we're all set, fellows. If you live in the wide open spaces of the West, you can find any number of suitable locations of the open area class. Even here, however, you should not rely solely upon visible distance to make your shooting safe. A backstop of old railroad ties or other waste lumber or some similar substantial material should be employed to stop bullets fired horizontally as at stationary paper targets. This will eliminate long ricochets. Normal ricochets of bullets fired into the ground at close range as in shooting at moving or surprise targets ordinarily will do no harm provided the targets are located well within the zone of one mile of visible distance. Now let's relax and enjoy some good sport, but you boys remember there's no room for carelessness on the firing line. Any fellow who doesn't observe every safety precaution has no business handling a gun of any kind. Say Dad, do you have any good ideas for a shooting match? Sure son, I've got some new bustable bullseyes in the car. Fetch them and we'll have a contest. But before we tackle any contest, I want to go over a few simple safety rules to be followed on this range. 1. Load your rifle only when you are in a safe place to shoot.
2. Before leaving the firing line, open the action, inspect the chamber, and leave the action open. 3. Load one cartridge directly into the chamber. If a magazine is used, all cartridges must be removed before leaving the firing line. 4. All loading must be done at the firing line with the muzzle pointed at the target. Okay fellows, just remember, we can have good sport with our guns, but the range is no place to fool around. Now here's the game. Each shooter will have a set of five cards with five breakable targets on each card. You'll load up with five cartridges for each series. These are the bustable bullseyes. They're attached to the card. Ready now? This is a slow fire set. We'll allow one minute per round. Then we'll put up new targets, allowing one minute for the five rounds. Bill's ahead, Dad. He broke eight out of ten targets in the first two series. Now what's next? Now we go into rapid fire. You get 20 seconds for the five rounds. Let's go. We'll see who wins. Games and targets. Here's a game called Miss and Out. We set up 10 targets in front of the backstop. One shooter steps up to the firing line. At the command fire, he shoots at a target until he misses. Okay, Ray missed on the seventh target, so he's out. Now, see if you can beat that, Joe. The one who hits the most targets wins. Another game is Hit and Move Back. It goes like this. We set up 10 targets again. Now, Tom, you shoot. And every time you hit a target, you take a step back. That's five hits and five steps back. The one who stands farthest away wins. What are you doing with that block of heavy cardboard, Dad? I'm going to make knobbly targets for you fellows. See, I've sketched a wood chuck about four inches high on the cardboard. I cut out the figure with a pair of scissors. Now, brush ink or paint over the cutout. And there's your knobbly target. With this cutout, we can make as many as we need. Here are some sketches you can use to make targets of your own. Each square is one half inch and the lines can be used as guides when you make your sketch. Selecting an indoor location. Gee, the kids in the country have the life. We don't have any place to shoot here in the city. I've got it. We'll set up one in the basement of our house. Come on, Joe. Here's Johnny Riley's dad. He's a policeman and he offered to show us how to set up our range. Now that we have the windows blocked off with bulletproof shutters, we'll set up our backstop with this 1 4 inch steel plate. Okay boys, there's our metal backstop. Now, the bullets passing through the target will be deflected downward into the sand. Now, we need 4 inches of sand. We have the lights in, and there's no danger of the bullets going through the wall with that steel backstop. Now let's see you boys chew up those bullseyes. Gee, we've got a swell range now, and it wasn't hard to make. Be a ranger. Win a ranger emblem. Where to shoot. You may fire on any established range, indoors or outdoors, or in any safe location where you are able to fasten the target a full 50 feet from your shooting position. What kind of rifle? You may use any rifle which uses 22 caliber rim fire ammunition. What position? You may fire the rifle from any position, prone, sitting, kneeling or standing. How to score. Any shot hitting or touching the black bullseye counts 10. Any shot touching or within the next ring counts 5, etc. Any shot outside the outer ring counts 0. What score is needed? 
you must have at least three targets with a score on each of 70 points or more for the 10 shots fired. Where to mail? Send your three qualifying targets to the National Rifle Association and you will receive a colorful Ranger emblem as evidence of your ability and more tips and advice on how you can become an even better shot. Ranger targets may be obtained without charge from your local firearms and ammunition dealers. For more advanced instructions and other shooting information, write to Sporting Arms and Ammunition Manufacturers Institute. How to clean your 22. 1. Be sure the rifle is unloaded. 2. If the model is a takedown, take it apart. If a bolt action, remove the bolt. On the other types, open the action. 3. Clean other than bolt action rifles from the muzzle end. 4. Run patches through the barrel with a cleaning rod until they come out clean. Insert cleaning rod from breech end, not muzzle, if type of gun permits. 5. End up with an oiled patch to leave a light coat of oil in the barrel. 6. Wipe all fingerprints from the outside of the gun and give all metallic parts of the gun a covering of oil. 7. Store the gun in a dry place, away from the heat, and protected from dust by a cover. The cover should not be airtight, as the gun may sweat and cause rusting. 8. Keep rifle and cartridges separate and stored out of reach of young children. Just reward your gun with a little care and your gun will reward you with many hours of good sport. The Ten Commandments of Safety 1. Treat every gun with the respect due a loaded gun. This is the cardinal rule of gun safety. 2. Carry only empty guns, taken down or with the action open, into your automobile, camp and home. 3. Always be sure that the barrel and action are clear of obstructions. <music> 4. Always carry your gun so that you can control the direction of the muzzle even if you stumble. 5. Be sure of your target before you pull the trigger. 6. Never point a gun at anything you do not want to shoot. 7. Never leave your gun unattended unless you unload it first. 8. Never climb a tree or a fence with a loaded gun. 9. Never shoot at a flat, hard surface or the surface of water. 10. Respect farmer's property. Look before you shoot. Watch that muzzle. Respect farmer's property. Conserve common courtesy rules when hunting on a farmer's property. Watch your step with a loaded gun. Is that gun loaded? Never lay aside a gun unless you unload it. Keep your gun clean. Make sure that the barrel and action are free of obstructions. Shooting is fun, but be careful. Prevent forests and grass fires. The posters illustrated are offered by the Sporting Arms and Ammunition Manufacturers Institute, New York, New York, at half cost to state game commissions and other groups for posting in hunting areas and strategic places such as clubs, filling stations, et al.